Hey Jeff here with Digital Trends. We're taking a look at the AT&T and Sprint versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3 and we're going to try to test out the Android Beam and S Beam functionality. So we'll just refresh both of those. Uh, first we'll try Android Beam. Uh, this is a game Angry Birds Space uh, which I'm sure all of you have heard about. Um, so you just tap the back here. This uses NFC or Near Field Communications. As you can see it says touch to transfer, it says nothing on this phone. So you beam it and then it brings you to the Android market where Angry Birds Space is on this phone. So that's standard, standard uh, Android Beam. It'll also work on a Galaxy Nexus was the first phone to uh, support this. You can do the same thing. Touch it. And since I have Angry Birds already installed on this phone, it'll actually open it up. And I can play it. So that's standard Android Beam. We'll also shut Angry Birds down and show you... Uh, we'll attempt to show you S-Beam. So I have here uh, a video that I took on the, uh, the AT&T version of the phone when I was doing uh, the review. Just a short little video. Supposedly with S-Beam you can kind of transfer larger video files and music files and stuff like that from device to device. So we'll snap those together. They both vibrate. Uh, just like Android Beam. We touch that device. So it says separate devices. Okay, now they're connected and it is transferring the MP4 file. So it actually tells you to separate the devices and then it, uh, it must make a secure connection. So Android Beam runs uh, on NFC, which is Near Field Communications, which is a kind of a newer secure form of communications, and here's the video. So it transferred pretty fast. That was at least a 40, 50 meg video. So that is the Android Beam and S Beam functionality of the Samsung Galaxy S3.